just finished this job, this roof cleaning job, and I thought it'd be good just to explain to you the process, um, our approach to the job, because you might have noticed there, so at the beginning, we did that lower section all the way across at the front of the property with the steam cleaner machine. So the steam is still pressure washing really, but it's much lower pressure. It's a 15 liter per minute machine um, using hot water. So that's great for steaming off some of those white lichen, lichen spots. So we did that a lot at the front. The thing is with that, it was taking a lot longer, a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take really. Then there was a lower section at the back on the reverse side of that uh, first bit we did at the front. I then did the lower section at the back in the afternoon. And at the back, the moss was a lot more stubborn. Um, the customer was complaining that moss is dropping off onto their patio and making a mess on the patio. This quite often happens. And um, you can make the mistake when you go to clean it that all the moss is gonna come off really easily. And so there can be quite a difference between the shady side of the house, the sunny side of the house, whatever it is but the moss at the back was really much more stubborn. So it took a long, long time to clean that lower section at the back. So when I came back the next day, I decided to attack it with my pressure washer. My pressure washer's got a bit more oomph to it, 21 liters a minute. Um, so I was using the bigger flat surface cleaner. So I also like to reduce the pressure a little bit on my, on my bigger pressure washer as well. So it's not too intense for the roof. So we're, we're taking care of the roof. And so I cleaned those two higher sections at the back, across the back and the side on the higher part of the roof to get through that stubborn moss. So you can see, to be honest, I don't think either method on those tiles made much difference. There's different methods you can use for different types of moss. There's so many different types of moss when you start cleaning it, you start to realize um, different types of tiles. They were big, heavy duty tiles. There's no harm in the pressure washing. I think either way, I could have spent a lot longer with the steam cleaner and really got it perfect. All those little bits of algae spots, the lichen, you could spend ages steaming it off. Um, but for me, it's a time factor as well. So what I like to do after every job, after the cleaning process, whatever method I'm using is I always apply a biocide. That's my added value on the job. I include the biocide in my price. Um, and I really recommend that because it will kill off any organic growth that's left after the cleaning process. And so the roof will continue to improve over time. So then I also recommend the biocide as a way of maintaining the roof on an ongoing basis so once you've been through the cleaning process you've cleaned the roof you could then treat it with the biocide every three or four years that will prevent the moss coming back and keep the roof in good condition so yeah i really do uh, like to stress that with my customers that that's a really great uh, method of looking after the roof going forward in the future so yeah like i say i think there's not any one method you can use for every roof Obviously some roofs are more delicate than others and some you need to treat much more sensitively and much more carefully depending on the type of tiles as well and the condition of the roof. So it's good to bear that in mind. But this street was a really great example. Um, that job I did there now stands out in the street. So it's a great way to get the best result as quick as you can. The interesting thing uh, with this job was while I was doing this job, the neighbor came out to me and said that they'd heard online that you should never pressure wash a roof, which seems a little bit bizarre. I mean, I would agree that you can't pressure wash every roof. Some roofs are definitely way too delicate. Some roofs, obviously the tiles are different and more fragile. Um, so you have to use your judgment. This job I was doing here, the tiles are good, solid tiles, nothing wrong with them. In fact, I used the steam cleaner on part of the job and then I've used the pressure washer on other parts of the job and I think either one hasn't affected the tile any more than the other one. The neighbor was really impressed and they've asked me for a quote as well. Um, in fact, you can see the contrast between the neighbor's house, the job I've done, and then the neighbor was actually telling me there's one across the street. Have a look here, this massive roof that apparently uh, was recently done using a scraper. Now I look at that roof, there's two garages um, there's the big roof is third story and I just look at that and think if I was gonna tackle that 
with a scraper you've got a little scraper like this you're going to seriously tackle that whole roof um i mean that fills me with dread it really does apparently they spent three days doing that and it, it doesn't look a great deal different um i mean obviously the moss has all been removed but there certainly isn't the contrast that i've managed to achieve with the results that i've done here with the pressure washing um so yeah i really recommend the biocide treatment as well and obviously you need to be careful about chemicals that you use on the roof and the drainage any drainage that comes from guttering um, usually goes off into a local water course so that'd be a local river or stream or something like that so yeah you don't want to be using a lot of harsh chemicals on a roof i personally never use um, hypo on a roof a lot of guys use that as a soft wash um, but on a roof i only ever use biocide i apply the biocide from the bottom working upwards so you get very little runoff if any um, you can detach the guttering as well to catch any runoff that should come uh, from the roof as you're applying it the biocide is said to be biodegradable so once it's dry it sits on the roof acts as a preventative and um, will prevent that moss coming back and, and the unsightly algae from developing again on the roof so that should last a couple of years uh, you could reapply it every uh, three or four years even and it would be a great way to maintain the roof so so that's what I really recommend but yeah so the difficulty is with any roof clean um, every roof is slightly different every circumstance is slightly different access is always different different types of tiles different materials the tiles are made of I think as well you get some horror stories going around like people saying that uh, they had their roof cleaned and it caused a flood in their loft and things like that obviously you need a good assessment of the roof before it's cleaned if, especially if you're going to use the pressure washing method and if it's not sound um, that might not be the best approach so I think it's something that is quite specialist and if it's something you're looking to get into it's really worth building up experience pressure washing on the ground first if you haven't got any experience pressure washing start off on the ground um, build up experience start to get a feel for what you can achieve with a pressure washer and most of the time most jobs it's not just the pressure washing but actually getting the best results is more often than not a combination of using a chemical along with the pressure washing approach to achieve to achieve that and that can be a similar thing i find on the roof as well that i always do the biocide treatment along with the roof cleaning process in order to achieve the best result and i do that as part of the job i always include that in the price so that's my added value that's me saying to the customer i'm going to do the best possible job and also that's going to help maintain the roof going forward in the future as well you'd be surprised also that, um sometimes the moss is more stubborn than other times you never really can tell until you start cleaning it how easy it's going to go so um, I think often when I price a job just try and bear that in mind as well that some some aspects of the house can be easier than others sometimes it depends on on which way it's facing or how damp it sits over the winter and, and that kind of thing so I hope that little explanation helps you understand the different approaches as well so there's loads more videos over on my channel as well loads of different jobs I've done different types of tiles different methods of cleaning the roof there's a whole playlist the roof cleaning playlist over on the AE Macintosh channel. So go and check it out. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you find it useful and uh, catch up with you guys again very soon. Thanks for watching. All the best.